I think for me, the kitchen stuff will be more useful. I, I'm not looking for any trouble. I don't know how much I'm going to use this wrestling stuff in real life. Um, <laughs> but all that kitchen training, man, that's uh, it's really amazing. I'm so grateful for that show for like putting me through uh, what they put me through because because that's stuff I, I use every day. You know what I mean? Do you really? Yeah. Like you, you're you're you know that's part of your re your regular life now. Yeah, I mean, I think I, I try to cook a meal every day you know around this time it's a little bit harder bouncing around so much but um but yeah i mean as compared to my ability in the kitchen uh before the show yeah yeah there's a there's a big difference man is uh, um is i, the, I can't right. wait to uh, sit down for a, a meal that you yeah man yeah yeah <laughs> i'd love to cook something for you you haven't cooked for zach yet i haven't cooked for zach yet no <laughs> When you when oh, you do, uh, Zach, you have to explicitly refer, explicitly refer to him as chef the entire time. Nothing but chef. That's true. Yeah, you're right. I'm I'm just gonna pop in while you're training. Yeah, yeah, you should. That would be. I'm awesome. gonna go in January. I'm getting together with some chefs to prep for season three. And um, I worked with this one guy, uh, Chef Dave, at this restaurant Pastorly in LA that Dave uh, that Zach knew uh, really really well. So yeah, so, yeah. He, he won several James Beard awards. Yeah, he yeah. Fantastic. Spot got a star, Michelin star. Yeah. Um, Great guy, uh, Chicago guy. Yeah. And uh, so like he's a, I know you're you're in the freaking best hands, man. I'm just gonna pop in and shadow you guys. Yeah, you should, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's. I'll tell you what. The moment you come out and have to like present a dish and you're explaining, like all the various ingredients and the cooking methods yeah and you've got to say it to the table i did that one time yeah with dave with yeah. dave oh, at man. his restaurant and i was shitting myself yeah yeah it was i got so nervous the like, pressure and anxiety is real in those places it really yeah. is man. Yeah. you just got to get through it i mean that was i had as much nerves doing that as i did stepping into the rain that's wild <laughs> yeah, really. well zach you actually could jeremy cook for you because i just read uh, a variety article on you where you met the writer at a restaurant and I believe you brought your own duck bone broth. Was that a thing? Oh, geez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just, I stopped at a store on the way to the interview and got some, some bone broth, but I didn't realize it was duck bone broth. That's kind of, it, I, 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 not even real, I thought it was beef bone broth. I didn't. Yeah. And Either way, bringing your own bone broth. <laughs> I mean, it's good for you, man. It's good for you. I, I had a question, Jeremy. The fee, I, we have a, a coworker who has been arguing this year that Feast of the Seven Fishes is a Christmas movie. Thoughts? For sure. Yeah. I oh, think way, dude. Christmas. Yeah. Is it a Christmas like TV? Like, is it like like uh, correct for the holidays? Is that the question? Yeah. Well, that's be you know it's like is die hard a christmas movie sometimes movies that happen during christmas but they're not truly christmasy you know like what defines a christmas movie is always the big debate so you're th this is the latest one what do you I think, think is i think what you can do is like yeah you can watch feast of the seven or you can watch fishes uh you know the episode on christmas and then it makes your family hopefully look you know a little a little better a little nicer so you can give that gift to yourself watch the fishes and they, you know everything's better it's the most cool hour hour and a half, hour of television i think i've ever seen in my life yeah yeah it's an hour hour plus something like that um but yeah man yeah that episode was wild we shot it fast we got so many great actors to be a part of it man um and uh and yeah it's tense it's uh it's uh it's tense i didn't have a family like that growing up but i'm surprised at how many people have come up to me since that the show came out the second season and told me uh, my family was just like that. I was like, oh man, God bless you guys. I was gonna say, shit. <laughs> that's, uh, that's... <laughs> that kind of makes me think, oh, when, when you guys, you guys are obviously nominated for everything all the time. Are you are you filming a comedy? Do you think when you're on set, like particularly that episode makes me think of it? I don't, I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I think in terms of like, are we making a drama or a comedy or, or, or anything like that? Like no matter what I'm doing, um, <laughs> Um, I think, you know, the show has funny moments and the show obviously has dramatic moments as well. I think that episode in particular, um, has more dramatic moments, but also like the stuff with like the fact brothers, uh, with like Maddie and, 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 and rich, like, you know, um, I thought all that stuff was really funny. John Mulaney had some really great moments in that episode. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know. But the humor is all derived from the same place, man. Like you're, it's such a, it's, you know, it's the, the character work that's, that's so brilliant. And, yeah. yeah. And also like, I think some of those like, you know, incredibly sad moments to me are also kind of funny. Like they're ridiculous. Like they're so intense that it's almost like you have to, yeah. you have to laugh at it. Like the car coming through yeah. the house in the end. Like it's hilarious. It's frightening, but it's hilarious. You know, it's shock, shock humor. Yeah. 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 Uh, I read a, a a quote from you that kind of went viral not too long ago, Jeremy, when you were, refer were talking about your um your Marvel mishap, I guess we'll call it. Sure. Uh, <laughs> is that